Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sorry Ken. Welcome to Last Dinner Survival. So today's goal is very simple. I need to have more storage in my base, especially more storage for my food items. And my food items also mean my med kits. So I have a rack with med kits over here. We have a rack with food and med kits here, here. We have some food items and med kits here, some stuff here. And we have three racks full of loot inside of these things. And plus we have a full medicine cabinet. So you might be like, oh, sorry, that's enough stuff. No, that's the wrong answer. It is not enough stuff. So I want to upgrade this rack now to level three because then I'll be able to store more items. For those who don't know, that's how you get more storage. There's only a limited amount of boxes you can have in this base. You can have 40 chests and I already have here 40 chests. So the only way for me to get more stuff is if I upgrade these racks. And as you can see here inside of this rack, it's a level 11 rack. Here I can store 70 items inside of one cell. So every time you upgrade a rack, you can store five more items. This is a level two rack. That's why I can store 25. And if I upgrade this rack to level three, I'll be able to store now 30 items instead of 25. So that's what's up ladies and gentlemen so today i'll try to get probably some more ash logs but before we get those ash logs i already have a raid ready outside so let's go and let's do that raid and do i have any ash planks nope i do have 34 ash planks but i have zero ash logs well i got two ash logs but you need five ash logs just for one ash plank so we're gonna go to the swamp location we'll try to get some ash logs but as i said before we do this we have a raid outside so let's go there and let's try to do that raid and welcome to all those that have just joined to the stream glad to see you all over here welcome welcome everybody Hello, hello. Hopefully you're having a great day. And to those that are watching the live stream after it's over, then head to the pinned comments down below. There you can find timestamps and you can navigate to your favorite parts of the live stream a bit quicker. And now we're going to hop probably to the uh, everybody's favorite part, which is a raid, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody likes raids. I don't think there is a single person out there that doesn't like raids, but hey, we never know. If you don't like raids, let me know. I mean, we'll still keep doing raids because what else are we going to do in Last on Earth? But yeah. And if you don't like raids, why you don't like raids? Any tips? Yes. If you need to learn how to play Last and Earth Survival, I highly, I highly advise you to check out everything you need to know about Last and Earth Survival. Video is down in the description. So make sure to check that out. I'm sure that video is going to be very, very useful, especially if you need Last and Earth tips and tricks. That video will set you straight uh, on the right track. It'll show you where to go. It'll teach you the basics and you'll learn lots of things. Um, I'm going to get more things. Bro, why don't you farm Ashlog in one run? Why do you keep wasting the fuel, says Pushpak Thakur. Pushpak Thakur. That is a maybe valid question. However, farming is very boring. Like extremely boring. Like I'm not going to farm hundreds of Ashlogs and fuel isn't really a problem. I've been playing this game for seven years. So there's that. The the game was kind of stuttering. So maybe there was a zombie horde attacking me. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm just tripping. In any case, let's try to get more first aid kits. And why did I get basic hatchets when I'm going... Oh, because I'm going for a raid. For a second, I forgot. I thought I'm doing the ash run. So it takes forever to farm ash logs. It is not interesting to farm ash logs. It is boring to watch me farm ash logs. I actually don't even want to farm ash logs, but it's not like we got anything better to do anyways. So I might as well just go and farm them, even if it's boring. But if I could, I wouldn't farm them at all. Okay, let's get a C4 and let's get out of here. Do I have a C4? I might have a C4 here. There we go. Let's get one C4 and let's start the raid. And Zachary Castleman, thanks for the super chat. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Water of shame. Hell yeah. I was thirsty. I wanted to drink and my chopper's full. Oh lord. Okay, let's empty the chopper real quick. How can we get guns easy? Check out everything you need to know about Last and Earth. Link is down in the description. It's a nice video. It'll teach you everything you need to know. Long story short, Bunker Alpha. Short story long. Check out everything you need to know about LDOE. Link is in the description. Uh, let's drop the saw blade mace here. I don't see where it goes. Okay, we're going to delete that broken machete. And that's about it. Yo, Zachary Castleman, thanks once again for the super chat and water of shame. Yes, indeed. Sorry. Let's try to... Let's take a sip of water. Maybe that did not look like water, but that was water. I promise that was water. Thank you for... For, 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 for letting me drink water. 
And there we go. We're going to be raiding this base. I've done a little bit of research. I know how to enter this raid. I do not know what loot we'll get there. Because I always avoid checking what loot we get. Would you recommend doing Bunker Bravo without the damage increasing event? Without the damage increasing event? There is no damage increasing event. There is only a damage decreasing. I mean, it depends how you look at it. You're damage increasing. Okay, cool. I see. Uh, no, I wouldn't recommend doing Bunker Bravo without this event. Bunker Bravo event is here right now. And you can do this, and you should do this if you want to assemble your ATV or if you want to get carbon composites. But if you're not into that, then... I don't know, probably just don't do it. But this is one of the best events. Bunker Bravo event is probably one of the best events in the game. There's also the arena event, which some people do not like, but I think it's a good event. Someone said once somewhere in Discord that, oh, Saik told me the arena event is bad, which I've never said that. I've literally never said that the arena event is bad. I've always said that the arena event is great. I've always preached that a hey, arena event is awesome and people kept uh, giving me a hard time because I kept saying that the arena event is good. Uh, and yeah, uh, Wana, thanks for being a member for three months. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching the live streams. I see you are on a, left sh uh, on a late shift like me. I like it, but at least you finished in two hours. I finished at eight in the morning. Hello, hello, says Wana. That is sad to hear. Stay strong and thank you for being here. Good luck there at work. A story that maybe not everybody knows. I used to work uh, 12 hour shifts from 8 in the night till 8 in the morning. Back in the good old days. Would I call them the good old days? Every day should be good, right? I don't know. Kind of weird, but I did prefer night shifts than day shifts. I have no idea how and why, but usually night shifts were better. Most of the higher ups were always gone. They didn't work in the night, so it was freer in the night shift. During the night shifts. But hey, that's it. That was the raid. You gotta be kidding me. Oh no, there's probably one more. Uh, one more chest that I haven't loaded yet. There we go. Let's open this stuff up you're farming ash today i'm not gonna farm too much ash i'll just get a little bit of it and that's it as always couple of stacks wait i've just gotten one glock that's it that's the entire raid one glock and one steel plate night shifts are quiet but long they are very long indeed and wanda thanks for the super chat Thank you, thank you. Thank you for being here. Good luck there at work. Nothing, and uh, should I open up perhaps one more door? But I doubt we'll get anything inside of this base. I'm just gonna waste a C4 for content, ladies and gentlemen. Let's place a C4. Maybe I, am not, I shouldn't waste it. I'm gonna waste it anyways. That's it, I'm doing it. There's nothing inside of this room. I should not have done that. Should not have done that. Well. As you can see, there's nothing here. Just wasted the C4. Well, let's dip out of here. So yeah, thanks once again, Wana. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Sark, what do you think about Trump, says Cat Boy? Why would you... Why would you ask that question? What do you think is going to happen here? Like, what, what other topics do you want me to tackle here on the live stream? Should we talk about gun control, for example? Let me give my opinion. As a European, I think... I'm joking, obviously. <laughs> this is going to become a political live stream very quick. In any case, I don't care about anything. I played last on Earth, goddammit. I, I gather berries. But hey, thanks for asking very important and very thick questions. Very epic. Uh, let's drop the pine logs. Why did I get the berries? I have no idea. And God's abortion. Thanks for being a member for... It says for one month. But hey, thanks for being here for a long time. Thanks for watching the channel and everything. Thanks. Uh, transport up today. Fourth grade only. The drone mod grind never stops. I mean, maybe one day I will get some new... Uh, drone mods. I do doubt it, though. <sighs> I do doubt it, though. Are you hyped for a technical update? I am very hyped, as you can see. I'm extremely hyped. 
My hype is overflowing. Never been more hyped in my entire life. Uh, why can't I? And why is it? I don't think it's freezing for you, but why is it kind of freezing for me? In any case, let's try to find some space. To drop the loot. I mean, whatever, whenever, whatever update we get. I'll be fine with it. Alright. Better than nothing, I guess. Technical update will allow me to put the new update is here, but there's a catch in the title. So, easy clap for me. <laughs> that's, that's why I like it. Yeah, let's try to get some hatchets and let's go to the swamp now. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, uh, let's craft. Wait, I actually do not need any more hatchets. I already have enough hatchets. We have a lot of that stuff here. Let's get the dish, the soup buff, whatever. Sometimes you g I get an extra stack of ash, sometimes I don't. Dev said we'll get an update on the update in May. Hell yeah. Uh, the fish, ladies and gentlemen, let's get some salmon. Guys, how do you like these later live streams? It wasn't my plan, it wasn't my intention to start this live stream this late. The live stream keeps, keeps starting later and later. But hey, so I like to say better late than never. I'll get the beans. And we need what else? A carrot, probably. Let's get a carrot for the future buff. For the future salmon buff. Let's eat this. Let's start another soup. Yo, Rando Gamer, welcome to the stream. Uh, I'm gonna get couple of glocks, an M16, a spread shot, and I think we are ready to roll. I don't think I need anything else. Maybe I'll just get carrots just so that I can split them. What's for dinner? The same thing as always. The same thing as always. Food. Like, please do a flip, says Dan K. I do not know how to do flips. No, I meant to go backwards. Ah. Now there will be uh, two loading screens. And, but almost uh, went to another character. What's playing in the headphones today, says DA. I'm not going to tell you. Drop and give me 50. The, the new diss track from Drake. That's what's playing in my headphones right now. In any case, we're gonna hop on the ATV and we're gonna dip out of here. Three loading screens. All right, I'm out, says Godzu Boris. Okay, that's three loading screens for now. There will be the fourth loading screen soon. Uh, let's run maybe here. I'll start breathing when you do a flip. Well, that'll probably take a while because I'm not doing flips because I do not know how to do flips. And once again, welcome to all those that have just joined. Welcome, welcome. I'm glad to see you all over here. Welcome, welcome. I used to play Last on Earth and wished my base looked like this. I mean, I've been playing this game for almost seven years, so if you play this game for seven years, I'm sure your base will look like this. Even better. I'm pretty sure your base will look even better if you put more time into it. Wasting my precious time uh, precious time watching loading screens on YouTube. On loading screens, we can go on full camera, uh, on full screen. That way, you won't have to look at the loading screens. 
Every time there's a loading screen, I'll do a flip. I'll scream, I'll dance like a monkey, I'll do whatever. Just so that you guys are not bored on those loading screens. Old Sark knew how to flip. What did you do to him? Just got old. But hey, all jokes aside, you've already heard the spiel about those flips. Why I don't do them. They're just stupid. That meme is dead. Overused. And uh, I don't like doing it anymore. Loki, it feels degrading. There we go. Oh my goodness, I just glanced at the chat and I saw Kitchen Simulator. Would you play Kitchen Simulator so I don't get bored by the loading screen? No. I'm sorry. Kitchen Simulator is too far. I'm gonna get the grenade though. The Kitchen Simulator is too much. No, the meme is not dead. It is dead. The meme is dead. The backflip meme, whatever, is dead. I started it and I killed it. For me, ash logs for level six walls. Yes, because soon, guys, we're gonna get the helicopter. You might ask me, I was like, why do you need ash log? The helicopter will require a bunch of ash logs, because the garage for the helicopter and the helipad will require a bunch of ash logs. You might be like, oh, can you? I'm just gonna five ash logs here. Probably. Backflip never dead. Backflip dead. Backflip always dead. Can't wait for the helicopter. Require a thousand steel and ash logs. Yes, sir. I'll be building the helipad. Gathering loot for the helipad. I can just split this. There we go. Now my character is just going to go after these ash logs. There we go. So for those who don't know why I've split all of these carrots in the inventory, just so that my character could go after the ash logs when I click him to go there on auto. Front flip then. We're not gonna do front flips. We're not doing front flips. We're not doing anything. Old Sark seems to be always embarrassed by young Sark actions. I'm not embarrassed by young Sark actions. Like, those whatever backflips, right? Like, they were fun at that time, but I mean, I can't do them all the time. It's already enough that I've played the same game for seven years. I don't need to stand up from my chair and do that big backflip for seven years every live stream. Which again, it's it's whatever. It's maybe... The, the meme is dead. That's it. Airplane coming soon? Hopefully. I have no idea. I don't know when the airplane is coming. Nobody knows when it's coming out. It was epic, says Danke. Yep, that was the best part about the live stream. Now it's gone. I don't know why, but I want the helicopter to be extremely hard to get so they can release it. And by the time we build it, Bunker Charlie will be done, says Godzi Borshan. So, you want them to release a vehicle that has no content, and you want them to release that content later. Is that what you're telling me? So you want them to release the helicopter? And if you assemble the helicopter, there is no new content. Because they are not done with Bunker or Charlie. Like, what's the point then? The helicopter is not in the game. They can do it right now. Like, with, why does it matter? They... That's not the, the helicopter then. When people say they want the helicopter, they want a new location that requires that helicopter. Otherwise, what's the point of that helicopter? You can craft it, but if you cannot use it, then what's the point of that heli? Backflips were good. Chair spins were better. Okay. You described investing. No, I didn't. So you'll spend a year working on the helicopter that doesn't even have any content. Like, why would anybody work on that helicopter then? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Why would I work on the helicopter if the heli doesn't have any content? Did 
they just should they should make Charlie accessible by boat. Yep. In any case, if they release the helicopter, I strongly believe that they should have the locations ready for it. Otherwise, what's the point? Do you think Last Earth would have turned out as a better game if it was paid experience, one-time purchase to place as fast? It would depend. The entire game is designed to be very slow. So I don't think it would work. Like, let's say you buy this game for $9.99 and that's it. You no longer have to buy anything in this game. That means you would have infinite energy. You would have... I don't know, even... I don't think it would work because the game is not designed that way. It's designed to be slow. It's designed to have lots of obstacles. And would anybody want to play ni pay $9 for a game where you have to wait for days and days until you can do something? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, it would be a better model than it is right now. Four players, I guess. Like, you pay $9, $9.99 one time, and you no longer have to buy anything in this game. But, like, nothing's going to change. Like, ATV is still going to be difficult to get. It doesn't mean that ATV will be free to play. ATV is still going to be difficult. Everything's going to be still the same. The only thing that I think will be different is that you'd have infinite energy. That's it. So, would you want to play $9? For that, I don't know. As I said, otherwise they'd have to change the game completely. Last Earth is perfect. Stop complaining. I didn't even complain right now. I wasn't even complaining. And I know that Last Earth is perfect. I would pay 10 bucks, 10 pounds to not buy anything against this one. Yes, but like, as I said, for that they'd have to change the game. That means there will be no season passes because if you buy the game fully and they've released the season pass. There's that. And also, if you buy the game fully. I don't know. Is it possible to transfer the game from phone to PC or another phone? Yes, just go to settings and connect your account. Connect your account to Kefir ID here. And then you can connect on whatever devi device with that Kefir ID and you should be able to, to transfer your progress. Why no one's talking about the trolley? Because we don't know anything about the trolley. Buy a truck full of avocados. Today I was at the store and I bought three avocados. And I'm not gonna lie, I already ate half of one and it was amazing. I got pretty lucky. Kind of gotten better at picking avocados, but again, don't want to speak too soon. You don't really look for color. It doesn't really matter. Sometimes a green avocado is going to be fine. So the color really doesn't tell the full story. Just take the avocado and you kind of have to touch it. You kind of have to squish it. And it has to be like... It doesn't have to be soft. Soft, but it, it doesn't have to be hard. If it's hard as a rock, then it's not uh, ready yet. It's not ripe yet if... It has to have like some give in it. I guess. Better eat them quickly, says TC. Okay, TC, thanks. I wasn't sure what to do with them, but TC helped me out. Thanks, mate. It's like free to play suburbs tutorial. Very soon. As soon as we get the suburbs, there will be the free to play tutorial for the suburbs. Avocado tips and tricks are better than last generation tips and tricks. Yes, indeed. Wait a few days, it'll get soft. It depends on the avocados. If you get a very unripe, very hard avocado, it's not going to soften in a couple of days. But yeah, uh, so we've gotten three stacks and plus nine ash logs. And then you'll have to wait. But in any case, yeah, it is what it is. 
I've waited sometimes for a week until the avocado gets better. In any case, we've got an 69. Whoa, that's epic. Uh, ash logs. Sick. Nice. Do you need the trolley to get to the suburbs? I have no idea. The suburbs are here, ladies and gentlemen. I have unlocked the suburbs. Everybody, whoops. Look at the suburbs. Am I going to break the, the live stream if I keep doing this? I don't think so. Well, the suburbs, ladies and gentlemen, they are in the game on the map, but we cannot go there. That's it. I've unlocked the suburbs, but there is a catch. You cannot go to the suburbs. Have you played Stardew? Nope. How to buy avocado? Does that count as a fin financial advice? I guess so. I mean, if it's different, like if somebody comes and asks me, should I buy avocados? That's not up to me. Like, I don't know if you like avocados. I don't know your financial situation, but I can give you suggestions. Like I, as I said here, I'm suggesting like if you want avocado, that's how you pick it. But I don't think that's a financial advice. Just jump the river. Hell yeah. And that's how we're gonna get to Bunker Charlie. So we're gonna start getting some more ash logs. That way we'll be able to have more storage in the base. The next chest that I that I'm planning to upgrade is this chest up here. It'll go all the way up to level three, and then I'll be able to store more items here. Heck yeah. The suburbs are in the game, and so is the trolley. Makes sense. Sure. We also have the oil rig. Still can't believe we've gotten we haven't gotten the oil rig. Why did they add it and then they've never added it to the game? I don't get it. I honestly don't understand. The game's reputation would have been so much better if they've never added like either of those like oil rigs. If they never added those coming soon things. Like I think the reputation of this game would have been a lot better. Like, people would have nothing to complain about. Like, we would be like, hey, we don't get lots of updates, but, like, we don't know what to expect. Like, that, that when I think about it, the more I think about it, the, the more it makes sense. I think developers have shot themselves in the foot with grenade launchers many times by adding those new things. Coming soon, coming soon, coming soon, but it's never coming soon. So I think they just lost their reputation with that. If they never added those things and the updates stayed as they are, like, infrequent... Like, there would be nothing to complain about. Like, what would we complain about right now? That, oh, we don't have any new updates. Cool, great. Now we complain that there is no helicopter. There is no oil rig. There is no Bunker Charlie. But if they just never shown those things, like, there would be nothing to complain about. I am a genius, ladies and gentlemen. However, they did create a little bit of hype. But that, will, that hype was uh, temporary. Every time they add something new coming soon, that was just a very temporary hype. And right now, it's not even hype. Like, they can add whatever new location to the map. Like, those suburbs. Like, who cares that the suburbs are there? They're not coming. Unless they will actually come out. But why would they come out? Will they come out? Who knows? They've shown the... The oil rig for a long time, and it never came out. In any case... Sayak, you're always complaining. I can't stand it anymore. I'm sorry for complaining. I'm sorry for spitting facts. I'm sorry that you cannot handle facts. God damn it. So it wasn't literally even complaining. I'm just saying that the, the game could have been better if we didn't have those coming soon things. Because it doesn't help the game. Or if there is something coming soon, then like keep it and then add it. Okay. Uh, 20 zombie waves seems easy. But hey, before we go to the 20 zombie waves, I haven't been at the s settlement for a while. Fact harder, says uh, DA. I'm doing my best. I am doing my base. Also, uh, best. Also saw Insane in the chat there. I know he's lurking. Welcome to the stream. Never ever try to hide from me. I will find you. Ninety-nine waves? Nah, 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 ladies and gents, we're not doing ninety-nine waves today. Definitely not. Can't believe that I started this live stream so late. So late. I was like, I'll wake up earlier tomorrow. Nope. Impossible.
Like one day I'll start the live stream at 12. Like my time. In the night. It's okay, we don't get the helicopters in the supermarket simulator either. Yep. The coming soon isn't for you, it's for your grandchildren, says TC. That would make sense. Here are all of these things. Coming soon, coming soon, coming soon. They're not coming soon. <laughs> They're not coming soon. How raid Cyric? Should I buy something from the shop Cyric? Says Dan K. I have no idea. It's all up to you. You do whatever you want to do. Uh, uh, okay, I'm gonna drop more wood here. I have a pallet, uh, pallet full of wood. Full of wood, ladies and gentlemen. Only here, only right now. Can you show us your expeditions day the loot? Okay, I should have shown that, my bad. I will show it very soon. But before I show it, I want to kind of work a bit on the settlement. I just want to get more settlement resources. Can you do any expeditions? N not the biggest fan of them, no. I don't think I can do any of them. I've hit the wall there already. I've hit the paywall. I'm not gonna lie, the expeditions are worse than the crater. I'd rather do the crater than do the than do expeditions. Oh my god, he did not just say that. Yes, I did. Expeditions are I don't know, give them one out of ten. Do not like them. But they give loot. It doesn't matter. The gameplay wise, they're bad. They could have done like so many other things. Why did they have to do it this way? They could have like done whatever. It could have been teleported here. It could have like still moved and done like something in those things. They didn't have to do those expeditions that way. I literally don't understand why they did that. I don't have a slightest clue. But yeah, these are the, the rewards that I get from expeditions. So there we go. And for those curious, I'm already done with the ghost town. The destroyed station is uh, here at this level-ish and the old train station is at level 25. With expeditions, you never lose anything, though. They could have added the same thing. Where you don't lose anything. Where you just start a map. And you have to kill zombies. You have to clear, like, some sort of a mini location. But they just give you guns and that's it. You have your minivan. You, like, drive the minivan. You shoot that minivan and that's it. They just could have done it differently. They didn't have to reinvent the wheel. I don't know why they've done that. Feels like they added more work into those expeditions than what they could have done. Like, it makes no sense. They already have this system where you run. They already have this camera angle. Why did they have to change anything? Like, it makes no sense. I mean, I get it. They wanted to add maybe, like, those different mercenaries with different abilities, but... Well, in my opinion, they messed up, but what would I know? They want it to be budget Raid Shadow Legends of the A. I think Raid Shadow Legends does it way better than them. They want it to be like them, but I think they failed. Won't you take the rewards from the expeditions? I already got the daily rewards and the uh, rewards from expeditions. I got them. I can't progress through expeditions anymore. I don't have enough gear score. I need to get more mercenaries, but I do not have enough mercenaries. I said I've hit the paywall. I need to upgrade my minivan. I need to get like other resources and whatever. I don't bother about those expeditions anymore. And I forgot why I'm here. Oh, because I'm planning to do another raid. I don't think I can. Can I go to the factory and kill the witch as well in 20 waves? Maybe let's do 20 waves right now. I wonder if you complete all the expeditions, then what? Nothing. You have nothing left to do there. There will be nothing left.
I mean, why don't you tra transfer the rewards from the settlement to your main base, says Red44. I still don't get it. Like, you don't need to transfer the rewards there to here. They are there. There is a storage there. Why would I move them here? Kind of don't get it. I kind of don't understand the question. That settlement already isn't that great. It gives daily loot, though. That's the best thing about it. So why would I move the daily loot to my base? It can just stay in that chest. That way I have more storage. It's like when Brawl Stars livestream. <sighs> I don't know. When I grow up, I'll be playing Brawl Stars. Um, we have enough guns for 99 waves. Maybe I took uh, goopy guns. I should have gotten more spread shots. That's enough. Let's get another set of armor and let's start rolling. We have any advice for beginners, says Monkey. Yes, check out everything you need to know about Last and Earth Survival. That video is down in the description. If you ever raid my base, you'll find two AKs, says Dom4. Raid, uh, upgrade your base, get more guns. Clear bunker, bravo. I'm not raiding that goop. Upgrade your base. I don't see my shoddy. It's like when last entered live stream. I have no idea. Perhaps there will be more last entered live streams in the future. I'll try it out one day. I hear someone else in your studio. Who is that? Studio. Nobody else is here. I think you're hearing voices, man. Said, I'm ready to do nine uh, to do 20 waves, not 99 waves, just 20 waves. How to farm heals fast? You don't. You clear green zones and you get grass, grass into bandages. Uh, from grass you get seeds and then seeds into carrots and then you can cook carrots if you want to cook them and that's about it do you hear that little squeaky voice when you sleep says tc what's little squeaky voice mate i think you should see a doc hearing voices is never good guys do you also hear voices Last on Earth is not the same if you don't get bored with the lack of content first. I'm confused. What it means. Psych, won't you continue walking zombie to a series? No. Will you do a video for the Bunker Bravo event for the free-to-play? I've already done like probably a dozen of those videos, dozen of those live streams. Maybe probably more than that. But maybe there will be one more. Maybe I'll clear that bunker bravo today. After we do the raid. Voices are okay. It's when you start answering them, that's when you got a problem. I... I guess keep gaslighting yourself into thinking that. But I hear voices. I don't think that's normal. Don't play last generator like we used to because the lack of new contents is sad. Uh, okay. I see. I mean, even if they add like whatever new content, I mean, if somebody's been playing this game like me, for example, for seven years, like there will be. It's not like they'll add something and you know, like I'll start farming 24 7 here again. Like, if you've played this game for a couple of years, you're not gonna play it for hours on end every single day. Like, there's nothing they can add to this game that'll make you grind that much again. But the new content is still necessary, I absolutely... 
believe that. We definitely need new content. I think on wave 4 or 5, I'll start using those grenades. Like, do you think they should add more vehicles? Why not? Whatever they add, I'll be happy with it. Adding new content is better, but I think having a purpose is better, says TC. I don't agree with what you said, because it's silly. Obviously, like, the, the new content has to have purpose. Like, nobody's asking for a helicopter that you cannot use and go anywhere with it. Like, of course, the content has to have sense. Uh, my goodness. There we go. I gathered my brain cells. Thought I lost them after reading that, but I... Like the suburbs. Yeah, sure, they can add the suburbs. But again, it depends what they'll add in those suburbs. What if the suburbs are just like the motel? Like it has to have... It has to make sense and... The only way for it to make sense is... If they introduce something new to the game. Like if you go to the suburbs and you get more... Uh, wires... It's not gonna be worth it. It has to give like some sort of interesting loot. That's worth your time. Like, I don't know, maybe ATV parts to make ATV easier. Maybe, like, something else. I don't know, it'll have to give something. It'll have to be useful. It'll have to probably give something that other locations don't give, because why would you go to the suburbs if you can already clear X and Y location? I need the ATV to go there, probably. Maybe we'll have to wait and see. Depends. I'm sure when they introduce the suburbs, it'll be easier to unlock them. Like, right now, it's kind of difficult to go to the suburbs. To unlock the suburbs. But maybe later on, it'll be more difficult. New content needs to be easy to grind, too. If it's uh, more long grinding like the settlement, it won't grab people's attention enough, says the A. Yes. Or if they want us to grind long for something, it has to have, like, some... It has to be clear that, hey, like, whatever I'll do here right now, it'll be worth it. Like, for example, the settlement. The settlement grind can be worth it if every time you, like, upgrade something, you unlock something new and something new is worth it. So it constantly motivates you to grind. But you have to grind, let's say, for the helicopter for one year. But if you grind for that one year, you don't see anything. It's kind of weird. Like with the ATV, for example. Even when you unlock the ATV, it's kind of useless. So if they add the helicopter, and the helicopter is like ATV, it has as much content as ATV, then it's pretty bad. So if they want to add the helicopter, like, the helicopter has to come with a lot of new content. Like, within it, with a lot of new content. It has to have new workbenches that are useful. It has to have, like, some awesome upgrades. It... Yeah, new guns, new everything. It has to have a lot of new content to justify the grind for the helicopter. Which they absolutely can add. And they absolutely should add. Because if the helicopter just gives you more, I don't know, more... More scrap metal than was the point. What would Bunker Charlie even give then? Like right now, we don't know. Like right now, Bunker Charlie is... Uh, we don't know what Bunker Charlie would give. Like it should give the new resources that we don't have in the game right now. Because otherwise, what's the point of it? Well, you go to Bunker Charlie to get what? You'll grind for your... Whoops. You'll grind for the helicopter for... For a year to unlock Bunker Charlie to get scrap metals? Like, what's the point? Like, it'll have to have new resources. Maybe some new game mechanics. I don't even know. 
They could have done something better with the ATV. They could have added ATV upgrades. But we don't have them, I don't know. They added the settlement. What's going on with these grenades? They used to be better. Bruh. They used to explode faster. Am I tripping? Well, whatever. I'm gonna stay longer on that grenade. So yeah, speaking about... I don't even know if I spoke about the settlement. Maybe I just talked about it in my head. So the, the settlement, right? They added the settlement. The settlement needs a lot of resources. If they just expand on the settlement, if they make the settlement worth it, all of those new locations that they add can just have settlement resources to make your progress easier in the settlement. But again, the settlement is kind of... Go adding content uh, to a big game causes problems on user devices, right? Maybe there is a limit to how many... Uh, to how big they can make it accessible. What? Adding content to a big game causes problems on users' devices, right? Right. Maybe there is a limit to how big they can make it to be accessible. Yes. Said yes, it doesn't matter. Oh lord. Let's get the... M16. I don't care what are the technical limitations of this game. All right? It's not my problem. We developed this game in 2017. And uh, the technology doesn't allow us to add more new locations. We've hit the limit. Okay, what, what, how is that my problem then? Then tell me that we're not going to get new locations and that's it. Stop adding new locations coming soon every update. How is that anybody's problem? If size of the game is the issue, they can always yeet the crater, says the eight. Exactly. Hello from Canada. Are we speedrunning 99 waves? Nope, we're just doing uh, 20 waves because that's what Raiders wanted me to do. I don't know, Psych, I need a new location ASAP. Me, so. Even in the very old Q&As when the game was released, right? Developers themselves said that adding a new location that serves no purpose is pointless. It's like it, it's it's very basic. It makes it makes lots of sense. Like why would they add another location that serves no purpose? It has to serve a purpose. And they can definitely add locations with purpose. Oh my goodness! Stupid explosive zombies! What's going on today with me? You think with the old temporary events, the game size wouldn't change much? Yep. We do get a lot of temporary events. Uh, ever used landmines during your waves? Yes. Many times. Uh, sorry, we're just doing 20 waves for the lousy raid you're gonna get. I'm doing 20 waves so that I have content here. So that I get to talk with you and I'll do a raid. And if it's a group raid, it's a group raid. However, it's still content, it's still a raid. Alright. I don't control if it's a lousy raid, if it's a good raid, or if it's a bad raid. It doesn't matter. Because I'm not in control of that. If I could get good raids, I'd do everything to do good raids. I can't control anything, so... I'm just doing whatever. Uh, another explosive zombie. I'm just horrible with my grenades today. Are we just spoiled and always watch something better? What? 
confusion. Uh, did a whole 99 waves only with mines even says Dan K. Yep, I think we've done it twice or maybe even thrice. Now, what's going on? I can't believe it that they do explode uh, too late. Wait, I still have one more grenade. I want at least one perfect grenade throw. Okay, we're gonna throw the nade now. I'm gonna step on top of it. I'm waiting, and there we go. Now it's fine. There we go. I just keep throwing them too early. There was a time when you wished there was another place to go as a settlement, and now they gave it to us, and we still complain, says TC, because that place is useless. Like we wanted a second base, and they gave us a second base, but it's the uh, useless. Don't you get tired answering the same questions, says your hulas. Uh, we wake up, we brush the teeth every day, we eat every day, uh, we poop every day, we sleep every day, we drink water every day, hopefully. So, why not answer the same questions every day? Let's go here. We are spoiled for asking, but they good for putting those recipes and descriptions for things that are not in the games is insane. Exactly. 100%. If they never just added the coming soon things and if never if they never added anything else here, people wouldn't have anything to complain about. Because it wouldn't be as annoying. When they released the boat, for example, they released that boat and there was that uh, oil rig and the oil rig like, oh, you need a helicopter. So it's like, what? Like, we're going to get something soon? And nope, it never came out. The boat is useless. Everything's useless. People aren't asking for extra things. They are asking for what's promised. This is insane. There we go. 100%. It's not like we're sitting here and we're imagining things like, oh, I want the lumber mill. But yeah. The patience you have is one of the reasons why you're my favorite streamer, says your Hulas. Thank you. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. Thank you. Honored, humbled. Thank you. Let's drop the food. If that fits, it does fit. Now let's talk to the raiders. Let's see what other tasks we need to do. So I was able to clear 20 waves. And what about the witch? I think I killed the witch uh, yesterday. And the... The colonel at the factory. I think the factory is not reset. Yet. Uh... We can probably refresh the witch. We can go and fight the witch. And Happy Cyric Fan! What an epic name. Thanks for becoming a member. Thank you. Thanks, Happy Cyric Fan. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for becoming a member. Welcome, welcome. Uh, what do you even consider useful them? If the best way to get rich is bunker alpha and getting guns, then what is the point of anything else as purple rain PR? Purple rain PR, I see what you mean. Do you play in the crater? And if the answer is yes, then I won't be able to convince you with anything. If the answer is no, then you've answered your own question. Where do 
I store my green tickets? They do not fit anywhere. And yeah, we gotta go and fight the witch. You're still not helping me. You're, that's literally your first comment here today. You haven't asked anything else. You haven't typed anything else. You literally just said you're not helping me. Excuse me, sir. Uh, the witch. Okay, let's go. Let's fight with the witch. You should help other players, man. It says Muhammad MMM. Like, what do you want me to do? You, you haven't typed anything today. That's literally your first comment. That I should help people and I should help you, but you didn't ask anything. And where is it written that I have to help anybody? I'm confused. Oh my goodness, I lost the last of my three brain cells. Thanks. Thanks, Mohammed MMM. Very cool. Very cool of you. I smell dementia. Guys, if you were in my shoes, if you were reading what I'm reading here right now, you would act and you would do the same things. I promise. Like, I, I forgot what I'm doing. The dude came here, blamed me that I should help other players, man. And I should help him, but he never said what I want, what he needs. Sorry, you're a selfish bastard. You never helped me. That's literally the first comment the person's ever said on the channel. Please release my family, says Zachary. And also, somebody said about the comment, like, Psych, what would be useful in your eyes? For example, ATV, right? They added the ATV. ATV is useless, right? The only thing you unlock are the ash planks, which are great, but definitely not worth it for the years of grind that you got to put in that ATV. You unlock this uh, hydroponic system, which is useless. Uh, you unlock this chemistry station, which is useless. You unlock the gunpowder, which is useless. You unlock... Uh, lead ore, which is useless because the lead ore is used to craft uh, Bunker Bravo workbench, uh, Bunker Bravo terminals and the hazmat pans, but you don't really need that stuff anymore after you are done with the ATV. So that's what I mean. Like they should add things that are useful, not things that you will no longer use. Does that make sense? People are not saying that, oh, ATV is the best vehicle in the game. I cannot wait to unlock new content. It doesn't give you new content. You can only farm ash trees, which are cool. But is it really worth that much grind for those ash trees? Probably not. So that's all I'm saying, that I just want stuff that makes sense. That's it. Oh my goodness. Whatever. The brain isn't braining that much, and we're going to go and fight the witch. And why am I taking that many guns? <laughs> We have this, we have the spread shots, and I have armor that should be enough. I'm gonna get another set of armor just in case. No, yesterday I asked a lot and you muted me. I'm sorry that I don't remember you from yesterday, I apologize. I literally have no clue what you said yesterday. Yesterday I asked a lot for helping and you muted me. Wait, I can see probably what you asked yesterday. So, I need help with ATV. Please accept my friend request. So, that's what you typed yesterday. Oh, and also now it says that I will give you 100 grenades. Just give me 15 gas and 15 batteries for my ATV. Cool. You cannot give things in this game. And even if I could, I wouldn't give them to you. You would get nothing from me. Other people would get it, but you personally wouldn't get anything. Nothing. Not even a spear. Are we done here? God damn it. That's for bullying me. Uh. Such a generous man, says DA. Thank you. Uh, my goodness, my brain. I, I got lost again. Blamed for not helping. Cyric, help me. 
How I'm supposed to help them? Accept my friend request and help me build my ATV. Like, I can't do this. It's impossible to help that. And then they join today and then they say, I need loot. I need my ATV, Cyric. You should help people. Where is it written that I should help people even if it was possible? For me to accept your friend request and give you ATV transmissions or whatever else you wanted there. Even if that was possible, why should I do that? I'm confused. People DM me that stuff. They call me on Instagram. I'm not even kidding. In the middle of the night. Sorry, I could need my help. What do they think will happen? I have no idea. Obviously, the phone is muted. I don't hear anything. I don't even get any notifications from Instagram unless I open the app. But I'm just saying, people do that. In any case... Let's do another wave. Let's do a larger loop through here and a perfect spreadsheet, ladies and gentlemen. Perfect spread shot again. So just do a larger loop. Like, go all the way here. That way you'll gather all the zombies. You'll go down and they'll gather here. And uh, everything will be sick. It's like, please protect your last three brain cells. It is too late. I cannot protect them. Again, obviously I'm mostly joking. It doesn't matter what the guy's asking. It's fine. I just think it's fun to, to talk about something. But other than that, like, that stuff doesn't really affect me. It's like, I'm planning on building my ATV seven times, so you can please give me 70 ATV transmissions. Please, please, I need this, says Hillmore. I don't think you should be saying please. You should add that I have to help you. You should help me. And then guilt trip me, like, you should help newcomers. Never say please. Never plead. Always demand. It's like, you have to help newcomers. You have to give me 70 ATV transmissions. It's your obligation. Now, then I can think about that. Okay, let's do a loop. And we'll do a spread shot. Ladies and gentlemen, another perfect spread shot! It's like, what, my, like, seventh or whatever sp uh, perfect spread shot in a row? We finally mastered it, ladies and gentlemen. Still would be... Oh, mom, I'm glad that I survived. Had 84 health and she's done 82 damage. Help me, Cyric, now. Uh, what can I help you with, sir? You still didn't say that I have to help. You have to add that thing you have to help or you should help. You must help. Cyric, you owe me. You must help me. Like, why you never buy me a Lamborghini says purple rain PR? I'm sorry. Everybody gets a Lamborghini one day. Why not helping other players? says Muhammad MMM. The dude is still at it. I can't believe it. Brother, you can't trade with other people here. This is not a multiplayer game. I cannot give you stuff. Sayuk, you're not helping me, <laughs> but I can't help you. The way you want me to help you, I can't help you. God damn it. Well, we dealt with the witch, ladies and gents. Hell yeah. It's hard to tell when people are trolling and when they're being serious. That dude is being serious for sure. When they're trolling, they usually add other sentences. And it's kind of becoming obvious. And then, like, I like to troll with them as well. But that dude is 100% not trolling. He said he's playing for four years, max level, by the way. <laughs> Maybe he is trolling then. I haven't seen that. Maybe he is trolling then. Understood, thanks. 
<laughs> Useless Cyric, he couldn't even help me. Couldn't even give me his ATV. Do we go to the factory? Uh, nah. Yo, uh, Julian Moodley. Welcome to the stream. I remember when I used to play this game because of you, I don't play it anymore, but I want videos when you upload. I think you meant to say watch. Uh, glad to catch you live. You're cool to watch. Thanks, uh, Julian. Thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying the videos. Welcome to the stream. Useless Cyric, says Mo. Cyric is indeed useless. Speaking of useless things, I have no idea why, but I have to tell that story again. I don't want that story to die, and the more I tell that story, the more it'll stay in my brain. Because I do not want to forget that story. I kid you not, maybe like five years ago, maybe six years ago. When I was just starting with Last Dinner, there was a comment from somebody that said... Uh, you're useless, you're just wasting time, you could be useful to society, become a painter, doctor, write books, like, help society. Like, that's basically what the dude said. And then I went on his channel. I don't know why. I thought I'll just open his channel. I opened his channel, and that dude was live-streaming Grim Soul. And at that time, my mind was blown. So for those who know, Grim Soul is like last on Earth, basically. Kinda. It used to be game owned by Kefir, the developers that made Last Dinner. They sold it or something because now it's not, uh, now it's not from Kefir anymore. In any case, homie was playing, doing the same thing as I did. And he said that I should be useful to society, becoming a painter or something else. That was epic. I was He was trying to get rid of the competition. It was exactly the same as Last on Earth. I mean, I wasn't live streaming Grim Souls. What has society ever done for you? Screw society, says Rudy. Society has helped, I guess. I don't know. That would be a very long and deep and philosophical topic, I guess. But overall, I'd say society is good. Net positive, I'd probably say. Out of everything they could have picked, the freaking painter. <laughs> I mean, he did say like a doctor and uh, he also said a painter. I wish I screenshotted that comment. Maybe I could find it on Discord, but I doubt I'll find it. In any case. Right? Like it's... Yeah. Just the way that person attacked me was kind of weird. And then I opened their channel and they were live streaming. You couldn't make that stuff up. Man saying you're not useful when he isn't either. Exactly, like saying you're not useful when he's not useful either. I never claimed to be like, oh, I'm extremely useful to society. I mean, that's fine. Not everybody's gonna be curing diseases. Then there will be no diseases to cure. Then everybody's gonna be useless. See, guys? That's why I'm not a doctor. Because if everybody's a doctor, then there will be no diseases. And then doctors will have no jobs and doctors will be useless. So... That's why I spend my time playing this mobile game. LDOE Raid Ragazzi. Maybe Ragazzi is a nice base. I think so. I wanted to play Fallout today. The reason why I haven't started it, because I it's a very long game, and if I don't finish it, I'll feel bad about it. But I can't guarantee that I'll finish it. I don't know how many episodes I'll do on it. I don't know how long I'll be able to play it for. Like, I'd love to finish it fully, but I don't know how it'll perform on the channel. So I kind of don't want to start it, because what if I won't be able to finish it? Okay, so which chest do I open up for, sure? Okay, 
Okay, I think I know how to do it. Let's go. Which Fallout? Probably Fallout 4. I'd start from Fallout 4. It's kind of one of the newer ones. I mean, it's pretty old, like one of the newer ones. It's very old at this point. Yo, uh, you're Hudas. Thanks for the super chat. I named my bird Cyric. Thoughts on the next one? Thanks for the super chat. Thanks for naming the bird Cyric. I'm honored. I have no idea how to name another bird. You shouldn't take ideas from me. For for pet names. And we got lots of chests here. Popping in and posting random thoughts, that's my specialty. Welcome to the stream. And we're gonna open up... Uh, some chests, I guess. So yeah, I'd love to play Fallout 4. I'd like to start it here on the channel. Doing live streams, but... Yeah, I have no idea how many live streams I'll be able to do on it. Because I have no idea how they'll perform. Maybe I'll just do one episode, it like goes okay. I'll do another one, it goes bad. Or I'll do three, four episodes, and then they start going bad. And I'll still have to do like maybe 10 more, which I'm not going to do 10 more. So I just don't want to quit the game midway through. But I also know I'm not going to finish it when there are like 15 parts of it, at least probably. So it's quite a predicament because I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll just start like one, two, three episodes. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It'll be another God of War that I've never finished. This base has a lot of iron. I'll take it. I enjoy Dying Light 2 series. I think I've watched it twice already, says EJ. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm glad. I'm definitely glad you enjoyed Dying Light 2 series. I love Dying Light 2 as well. I'll drop more iron. Your face and your thumbnails are funny, like, for example, the free-to-play series when you spend money on a metal room. Why did it look like you were in a war or something? I know, I thought it was funny. Uh, don't grab duct tapes, you have a lot in the settlements as God's abortion. I'm sorry. I had no idea, I'm sorry. Th this base has so many guns to take, like, I shouldn't take duct tape. Like, it, it has so many guns to take. I could take guns instead of the duct tape. Am I right? What else can I take here? Nothing, Sark. It's my bad. Exactly. This base doesn't have anything better. If it has something better, I'm going to get rid of those duct tapes. Look at all those grenade launchers that I could take instead of duct tapes. Godzu Borson, I lost my last brain cell. You have over 1,000 duct tapes. Why, says Godzu Borson. What do you mean, why? I have like thousands of hours in this game and yet I still keep playing. Like, why not? Why not get more duct tape? I'm doing these raids. If I only took the loot that I need, I wouldn't take anything here. Do you think I need these 20 juicy steaks? I have like probably six or seven racks full of food. Like, do you think I need those 20 juicy steaks? Yet I still take them. Because that's what Last on Earth is all about. Why not get one nail, says Flaming Fire? Exactly, I could probably go and take that one nail. Uh, which other chests to open up? I don't even know. This one? Take the ATV. Uh, let's get the fuel and let's put it in the chopper. I'd rather grab empty uh, water bottles. Nice. 
I left them for you here. You can come back and get the empty water bottles. Okay, then suffer when sorting out your base as Gazi Borson. I'm a little bit confused. On that, why would you wish me suffering? I have no idea. I didn't wish you anything bad. If I followed your logic, like I would literally now uh, close the game and that's it. It would be over. It'd be done. But I'm not following your logic now, am I? I don't even need these guns. I already have enough guns. Like, I literally don't need anything. God's abortion. So why would I follow your logic? Explain that to me. You told me to not take duct tapes. Because I have a thousand of them in the settlement. Great. But I got everything. Explain yourself right now, or admit it that you were wrong. Why so toxic in here, says Kusa? It's not toxic, we're just talking. What is your problem, Kusa? Do you have an issue with me? I'm not toxic. Look at your... No, I'm kidding. I'm obviously kidding. I'm not toxic here and proceeds to attack everybody. Literally talking to people is considered toxic right now. God damn it. Tech is mad, mad. <sighs> Alright, guys. We're going to be opening up chests right now. Let's see what kind of loot we can get inside of these chests. No more talking, ladies and gentlemen. No more responding to anything. That's it. Only positive thoughts and positive vibes. Cyric is toxic. Cyric is toxic. Not the dude that is toxic. I'm literally spitting fact. According to that dude, I should have turned off the live stream. I'm explaining why I haven't turned off the live stream yet. And people, Cyric, you toxic! God damn it. Uh, my armor's about to break and there's nothing else left here. I'm gonna dip out of this base. The chests on the wall are empty, says Gazi Borshin. Yes, but you still haven't admitted your mistake. I'm a little bit confused. Thought I'm gonna let it slide. We don't do that here. What's your next in-game goal if you have everything, says Broxel? I don't know. Just waiting for the helicopter, I guess. store the duct tape. Oh no, the duct tape doesn't fit. Oh lord. I thought it would fit in that chest. Well. All my friends, uh, because uh, all my friends are toxic, ambitious, always negative. They need new friends, but it's not that quick or easy, says your hulas. Yikes. And yes. Go into your settlement storage and show them how much you have now, says Godzi Borshin. Like, you literally you ignored everything. I'm not gonna repeat that again, Godzi Borshin. It doesn't matter that, yes, we have a lot of loot in the settlement, yes. But your argument doesn't make any sense because you told me to not get Docte because we have a lot of Docte. But I have a lot of everything. I do not need anything from raids. I shouldn't be raiding anymore. I shouldn't be playing this game anymore because I have everything, according to your logic. So should I just turn off the live stream? Is that what you're saying? Because when you said to not get duct tape, that's what I hear. Turn off the live stream because you have everything. That's what I heard. Show them, says Godzi Borshin. You see, like, you're, you're not listening. You're just in your world. That is it. I'm giving you arguments and you're like, show them that you have loot. I, I told you that I have loot. I told you that I have thousands of probably duct tapes. I, I'm not denying this. Like, what do you want from me? I am confused. 
So I can free to play grind for a steel room. Yes, you can absolutely grind for a steel room. It'll take quite a while, but you can definitely do it. If you show them, then I'll do it. Like, what are you gonna... Show them what? Like, what people don't know that I have thousand duct tapes. Like, I'm confused. Like, I, I literally don't understand. Like, it's like arguing with the wall right now. I have a lot of loot. You told me to not get that loot because I have a lot of loot. And I'm telling you that it makes no sense because... I want to continue playing this game, so I want more loot. But you're telling me to not get that loot, and now you're telling me to show that I have a lot of loot. But I'm n I've never denied that. In any case, good weather today, in it, absolutely. Actually, the time is flying so much faster when I got something to argue about. Hell yeah. Thanks, God's abortion. Really cool. In any case, Gatsby Borshna says, I'm sorry, you're right. You're well, fine. Don't worry, mate. No worries. No need to apologize. We all make mistakes. Okay, let's get another set of armor. And let's probably do the transporter because I haven't done it in a while. Let's pay them. Let's not call them on the radio. Here's an example. For example, what I have to deal with. You might be like, Cyric, you're always yelling. Nobody said that, but hey, in any case, this is what I have to deal with. Somebody literally said this. Like, and I have to read this. Your remedy says, I have poop in my butt, Cyric. Okay, great. Congrats, I guess. That's good. That's where it's supposed to be, I assume. That's epic. That is epic. Uh, let's get the... Wait, have I called them on the radio? Let's... Oh yeah, I already called them on the radio. Whatever, let's start the 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 the, the transport up. Let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do the transport up. I'm gonna get a couple of these broken guns. It's all right. I'll get some of these broken guns. Then there we go, and a saw blade mace and like two melee weapons. This and a machete and another machete. There we go. Let's modify the weapons. It's like I'll pay you $15 if you delete every single duct tape. This is new bit. Nah, it's fine. No worries about it. I don't want to delete the duct tapes. However, thank you for the proposition. Very cool. get another set of armor I'll get this and I'll get a little bit of food and this It. Let's go. Let's do the transport up. It's been a few days, perhaps a few weeks, since we've done the tran. Definitely not a few weeks, but definitely a few days. Make the game fresh again. Maybe I need to move my boxes. 
Maybe I need to reorganize this base. And then it'll be fresh again. Hmm? Who needs a new update when you can just update your own base and make the game feel fresh? I am just a genius. And somebody said take a drone. Thank you, Dan K. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah let's get the drone. Let's get the drone. I would have forgotten. 100% would have forgotten that drone. Is Justin. Welcome to the stream. Randomize the boxes so you have to search for where everything goes. This got you bored. <laughs> That's not the point. The life shouldn't get harder when you reorganize the boxes. Just so that it's kind of fresher. Then it'll look like it's a different game. Would you have one million dollars uh, or tungsten and helicopter? It says Nasos Vovaras. Would I rather have one million dollars or a tungsten and a helicopter? Right, the the cho the choice is obvious. And I'll leave it at that. Whoops, did not mean to attack a bunch of these fast riders. Biggest brain talk I've heard to date says Justin. Yes, indeed. Developers don't want to update the game. I'll update my base myself. Sorted items alphabetically by color. Says the AI. I don't even know how that would work by color and alphabetically. So when I said the choice is obvious, obviously I meant the helicopter. Who cares about money, right? Money can't buy happiness. Make it a billion dollars. I'm not going to get billion dollars. All right, the helicopter. That's what I need. And there will be that one dude. Oh, oh, oh. Sark's so stupid. He wouldn't take a billion dollars. He would take a helicopter. He's so addicted to the game. Oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness. And I know that that person exists. Could even say that person's name right now. But I don't want to out them like this publicly. I have good news. There is a 10% chance of your grandchildren will get the tungsten and helicopter. That's good. I don't know where you got that 10% chance from. Seems pretty high. That person was here, maybe still here. That person is still there. They know who I'm talking about. We've gotten steel sick. Money can't buy happiness, but it beats whatever comes in second, says TC. Yep. Can money buy the helicopter? I don't think so. Oh my goodness. All of these schmucks are gonna attack me right now. my calculations we may get the helicopter by 2029 says nw game that's good or bad get the helicopter in two years here's our roadmap the helicopter comes out in two years until then just suck, suck on your own thumb <laughs> that's it peace out and they're gone for two years and then in two years the helicopter is still not there 
in any case oh let's open the door buying a heli irl will probably be cheaper this is insane yep probably you are right maybe not like buying it fully fully but like taking a ride or like getting a private jet somewhere is probably cheaper than buying an actual helicopter like some items in the game here are probably cheaper than than you can get stuff IRL Honestly, I just want pay to win mini games in the settlement. That'd be worth the wait, says Justin. You're the man. Speak louder. I agree. with this I think that's it I have damaged three zombies probably I real dog food costs less does it Uh, I don't even know. Never check the store for the dog food. Probably. I mean, it's with the with the promo right now. Ninety percent promo. Ninety percent off. That's funny. I can't. You can get bag of food and five dogs. I can't. I don't know. Like some deals are funny. I can't. Oh no, I made a mistake. No, 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 no. I'm gonna reload the location again. No, 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 no. I'm not failing like this. I ain't dying. Loading screens harder. Yep. That's a lot of loading screens. How to get the drone fast? Clear the... Uh, do the survivor's path. Progress in the survivor's path. And then clear the laboratory five to ten times. Depending... Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? I've done- I'm done with it. This is so stupid. I want a- No, nah, that's the wrong gun. Didn't mean to move when I sneak attack that other guy. In any case. It is what it is. There are two sides of the, every conflict. Cyric's side or the wrong side, says Yerhudas absolutely. I don't like to say it, but I'm always right. I have never taken an L in my life. And yo, Remedy. Yo, Remedy. Thanks for the super chat. Where is the happy Cyric? Is he in your basement? We're not talk about that. Thanks for the super chat. Welcome to the stream. So, yo, Remedy, thanks once again for the super chat. Sadly, I cannot answer this question because I have no idea where is Cyric from the basement. Haven't seen him in a long time. Money can't buy happiness, but $50 ATV crates. $50, uh, $50 ATV crates, what? They can't buy happiness? Is that what you're saying? Maybe. Perhaps.
In any case, I'm gonna quit last on Earth and I'll start playing Genshin Impact. That's it. Full-time Genshin Impact streamer. That's gonna be me. Smash like, smash subscribe. If you're into that. And there will be a zombie behind this. There we go. Hopefully toilet paper will come out before the helicopter. Why do you need toilet paper in this game? Maniac, I'm glad you like the videos. Thanks for being here. I'm gonna avoid these schmucks. I'll heal up real quick. I'll open this up. Oh, now I'm stuck. They do an insane amount of damage. 16 damage per head. That's a lot of damage. It's like as a pro Fortnite player, he doesn't play last and I've played Fortnite many years ago. Six years ago, maybe. That's about it for one video. I do not remember what I've done there. I do not remember what I've played there. So I think in total I have maybe like an hour, two hours in Fortnite. Yeah, yeah. It's like, do you like to touch grass? Yes. It's pretty cool. Touching grass is underrated. Do not play Genshin Impact. That game is crap, says Noobman. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> you don't have a right to say that that game is crap. You play Last on Earth, goddammit. And I'm pretty sure Genshin Impact has more things to do than Last Day on Earth. I assume I've never played it though, so probably can't speak for that. But I'm pretty sure that Genshin Impact has a lot bigger community than Last Day on Earth. If the game looked a bit different, if it wasn't so anime focused, I would have probably already played it. I would have tried it. Just not really into anime. So that's like the main reason why I haven't tried it. Why is Genshin Impact talked about here? I have no idea. Gonna become a full-time Genshin Impact YouTuber. Whoops, almost got stuck there, almost died. Why play Genshin Impact when you can play Cube Survival, says DA. I like that. I like that thought process. Cube survival. Please don't play Genshin Impact, says Noob Ben. Have you tried Genshin Impact? Stop playing Genshin Impact. The missions are endless. But that's the whole point. Missions are endless. Content is endless. Um... Bro, move on to Genshin Impact. Sell your last on Earth account. Okay, you want to get it? I'll pay you three dollars to take it from me. Heck, I'll make it three fifty. Just 
Just take it from me. Been playing Genshin since the since day one. Last generator takes hundred percent longer to complete, I believe. Again, I've never played Genshin Impact. I'm not even really sure what that game is kind of about. It's like MMO RPG something. I assume. But the general consensus around the game is that it's not that pay to winish kinda it is like pay to winish but it's one of the less like kind of pay to winish mobile games you can still have fun without buying things in it is it less pay to win than last on earth i have no idea maybe i don't know i haven't played it i have no idea what's up as i said i'm not planning to play it if it was less anime focused maybe i would i'm not really into that stuff But I also know that some people don't like it just because it's like anime focused and some people don't like that game because of that. But as a mobile game, uh, as mobile games go, it's not that bad. I'll buy your account, says Noobman. I was joking, stop it. You already said like three times in the chat that you'll buy my account. Stop it, I'm not selling it. You can't sell accounts here, you'll get banned for it. I'd love to see Sark play Hitman, maybe one day. There is Hitman in VR. And there are other Hitmans. Perhaps one day. Mm. I'll get the air filter. You might be like, Sark, what do you need that air filter for? And duct tape. What do you need that for? The helicopter, ladies and gentlemen. When the helicopter comes out, you'll need a lot of air filters. I'm sure because of things and stuff. How did you kill parasites? I thought they one shot you. Well, apparently here they do not. You just let them attack you and that's it and they die. Duct tape says DA, yes, we did get more duct tape. Gadzu Borshin is gone, so I can't, he didn't see that I got more duct tape. But I, I took that duct tape just for him, so he knows what's up. Can I take my account with me when I die, says TC? I don't think so, unless you get buried with your phone. Then maybe. What's the best weapon mod in your opinion? Spreadshot. I have no idea why I got stuck there for a second. Please tell me more items we need for the helicopter. I need to know, says Rudy. You'll need everything, basically. As many items as you can hoard. You'll need all of them. He doesn't know. He's just yapping, says Sophie. <gasps> you, you get it! Holy moly, you figured it out! Everybody on, on this livestream knows that I have no clue about the helicopter. Every single person watching this live stream knew that I'm joking when I said that I am getting these air filters to assemble my helicopter. Only you didn't get it. Congratulations, uh, Sophine. To 8.30, congratulations. But it is what it is. Thanks, I'm smart, says Sophine. <laughs> You're welcome. How on earth did I do only 90 damage with this stupid saw blade mace? Did I stand up? Well, I must have done something. 
You lied to me, I believed I was joking. Maybe I even said probably we'll need the air filters. Probably implies that I I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, was these worth storing or just use them as you get? I mean, if you want to use them later, maybe you'll get mods for the Uzi and you'll be able to use them later. I don't know. Oh, let's go and let's start opening up the crates from the very top. Do you remember the good old days we used to dream about the TV and now I hear about the helicopter, excuse me? But a good old a good old days when you we when we used to dream about TVs. I c I'm confused. Oh, ATVs you said. Oh, I see now. You meant to say ATV. It's funny how they have so much armor and they do so much damage and they do that damage very fast. Item obtained, don't even know what I got. A bottle of pee, probably. Zombies here. I mean, no bosses. The Uzi gets way stronger from upgrades more than any other guns, so save them if you don't have weapon mods for them. So ZP late. That's actually a valid point. I agree. The Uzi does get much, much, much better when you upgrade it. Like, you, do, you can definitely feel the difference. Unmodded Uzi is like borderline, like probably 2 out of 10. Well, maybe probably higher, maybe 4 out of 10, maybe 5 out of 10. But the fully modded Zip, uh, Uzi is like a 10 out of 10 weapon. It's, it's amazing. It's phenomenal. So you could probably save uh, Uzis. If you're planning to play this game for a couple of years, then... Yep. Save them. You should stop last gen earth because when this game is going to die slowly, I think developers give some good updates as all time. Okay, thanks for the advice. Thank you. And the butcher. No. Oh lord. There's no way you were about to say fully modded zip gun. No, no, I said the uh, Uzi. I didn't mean the fully modded zip gun. If I said fully modded zip gun, I'm sorry. My bad. I planned to play for a couple of years. That didn't work out. Interesting. What are the best pipe attachments? Check out uh, Happy Cyric Mods. Go on YouTube and type LDOE Happy Cyric Mods and there will be two videos that pop out. Watch both of them and they'll show all the mods. Okay, our homie's gonna heal. While he's healing, I'm gonna get my drone here. Actually, I wanted to get a... Okay, I do not have a Glock with the leg shot. I find the Butcher a lot easier than the other dude. The other dude is a lot easier to wall trick. This dude is a lot trickier to wall trick because if 
uh, you mess up the wall trick, he'll go and heal. So, you can kind of wall trick him to 1000 health. That's an okay way to, to kill him. But again, now if he attacks me, he'll go and heal again. So just keep running around and he shouldn't heal. Like if you do not make any mistakes, you could probably wall trick him at this point. But I doubt that that'll work. So try to wall trick him to 1000 health. And then just shoot him running around here. The drone is stuck in one spot, and now it should just kill this butcher. Oh lord. That dude almost attacked me, and there we go. The butcher is dead, ladies and gentlemen. We've gotten the cargo card. I don't think there's anything else we need to do. Yeah, we've opened up all these uh, containers. I just need to get the loot. Like, how much longer do you plan on streaming for, says VDX? I have no idea. Hopefully till the day I die, because I do not have any other options. I do not have any other backup plans. I didn't... Uh, didn't do anything. Since I was 16, I just wanted to, to, to make YouTube videos, so... There's that. It's like, that's not what I asked him in today for how long you're gonna stream. Oh. I don't know. Uh, what crate... To open one, two, three, and four. I think you left the folder with really. Katana in the red crate. No, no, I didn't leave it. I'm gonna take it off camera. You made me die, Cyric. You made me lose focus, and I got swarmed by carrions. Damn you, says Justin. What did I do? What did I do? Actually, the third crate is going to be better than the fourth crate. And you guys are voting for the right crate. Kinda. I mean, I'd like to get the blueprints from this one, but I almost never get the blueprints anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So yeah, most of you are voting for the third or fourth crate. But it looks like the third crate is winning. You talked about your dreams as a wee boy. What does it mean? Uh, how could you tug heartstrings like that when I was in such a hard battle? I didn't talk about any dreams, did I? Bark for good luck. Excuse me. So, it looks like most of you are now voting for the fourth crate. It was the third crate that was winning, and now the fourth crate is winning. A little bit... Crazy, but hey guys, yeah, you're voted for the... Fourth crate, then let's open up that fourth crate. If the fourth crate is bad, it's your fault. So if it's garbage, I'm blaming you, ladies and gentlemen. If it's bad, it is your fault. We did get a drone blueprint for the first time ever in, like, years, probably. Let's open it up and let's see what is it. Antiseptic. Was it good? I mean, it's something new, so I'll take it. Like, whatever, it doesn't matter what blueprint. Probably not the best one, but I'll take it. God damn it, I'll take it. This armor is absolutely unusable. Wish I could salvage it or something, but you can't even recycle this durability armor. It's like garbage. And yes, I said that with a straight face. Have you ever played The Walking Dead? Yes. I don't think you'll find it on the channel, but I have played it. The one you show the most is the one people vote for. What? People don't really see. When they vote, they don't see what they vote for. And I've shown when the voting was already over, so it didn't affect anything. 
Oh, and I was showing the fourth grade all the time, so people were voting for the fourth grade. I see what you mean, yes. That might have affected the fourth grade's outcome. Yes. That might have affected the poll's outcome. That's what we've got in the fourth grade. I agree. However, I've done that in the past. I'll sometimes leave it on the first one, and people still don't vote for the first. But yeah. I agree. Can you play The Walking Dead on the live stream? I don't think so. Perhaps one day. Duct tape. Wait, there was duct tape? Where's duct tape? I don't have duct tape. I only have duct tape in my inventory. I miss old Cyric, I think two or three years ago when you died, you angry lot. I love that moment. Says old time, very nice. So guys, I'll go back and I'll get that loot off camera. I'll totally get it off camera. So no worries about that. Trash crate. Clear bunker, Charlie. Sofian, are you all right? Is everything okay with you? Something about how you say it makes me think you won't. So Justin. I promise I will open up the the rest of the crates and the transport, but we'll bring all the loot back to the base. I promise. No, I'm not okay. Thanks for asking. Well, I hope everything, whatever you're going through will, will disappear and you'll feel better. I don't know. Hey, sorry, what's for dinner? The same thing as always, food. Duct tape, we have more duct tape. I love the katana in the hub. And yeah, I already said many times that I'll take it off camera. Uh, no, melee weapons do not fit. Nothing fits. Are you participating in the last Internet Partners giveaway on April 22nd to 24th? Nope. Not really into giveaways. I have my opinion about them. I've shared my opinion many times about those giveaways. The thing you need to know, Sykes an asshole, and that's why Syke doesn't do giveaways. That's about it. That should be your opinion about why I don't do giveaways. As whole Cyrix is Mo. Yes, indeed. There's just something, again, I mean, I could talk about it for a long time, but again, I, uh, I don't know. There's just something about those giveaways. It always invites the kind of people that don't care about anything. They're just here to win something, to get something. I've literally seen people on Discord, like many years ago, say, Oh, I just joined Cyrix Discord to, to get a giveaway. If I don't win anything, uh, I'm here for the giveaway. Once the giveaway ends, I'm leaving it. I'm not watching that more or like whatever. Some people just join to win. And they still trash talk. So it's like, I don't know. And the chances that you will win are very low. By you, I mean like the individual viewer watching it right now. Because there will be like, what, five winners only anyway? So why even bother about that? Like, hey guys, I'm making a giveaway. Everybody, please gather here. Why, look at me. I'm making a giveaway. You can get the, like, whatever amount of coins. You can get like 500 coins. And you're not going to win it anyway. So what's the point? And then I'll get daily DM psych. When is another giveaway? It's 
So there's that. That's kind of my stance on it. And I don't even get into the the smaller nuances of like me talking to players, explaining how to give them my ID, then if they don't get the right resources, I'll have to again DM the devs, I'll have to talk to that player, Psych's an asshole, Psych lied to me, I didn't win anything, Psych, where's my loot? They'll be DMing like every like three hours asking where's their rewards. And uh, I don't know. And then one player like once lost their account because of the reward like Cyric, like because of you lost the base, but that's all right. This base is better than my old one and like blah, blah, blah. And it's like, why even bother? Giveaways are technically the devs helping partners grow their streams and subs and viewers, etc. Scratching each other's back kind of deals is insomnia. Absolutely. And uh, the people that do it is fine. It's just I'm in a position where I don't need to deal with that. I'm not going to grow my channel more by doing those giveaways. Everybody that watches Last on Earth, most likely they've already heard of Happy Cyric. So me doing another giveaway won't really help me. But people that need that, they should absolutely do it. And I've done giveaways in the past. And if they do something interesting with, with giveaways, something, I don't know, something that I consider worthwhile, I definitely might change my opinion. Why don't you do an unannounced giveaway just like randomly in a stream? I'll still have to gather the IDs and everything, and it'll take time, and I don't know. Like, most likely, as I said, you're probably not gonna win anyways. Like, the chances to win are very slow. There'll be, like, only five people winning anyways. Because if you lost the chance to win a giveaway. Yes, sir. I'm not even sure how those... Uh, things are supposed to work like there are some giveaways when where you can just like uh, do a random giveaway and then there are some other giveaways where you have to like announce that you're doing a giveaway and then you have to like promote their social platform or whatever so there are different kind of giveaways that they do and whatever as I said I'm not really into that stuff I don't need to do giveaways But, yeah. I said the conclusion from all of this, Sykes and Azul. That's it. That's all you can think. <laughs> and I'm fine with it. So, thanks everybody for being here. I think we'll be buckling up. Kind of sounds like a paint to hose giveaways. Uh... Again, maybe, like, I could just say, like, hey, I'll do a giveaway and then I just do it on Discord where, like, nobody knows anything. I just, like, contact five, like, random people and that's it. But it still takes time and it's still when people win, even when it's random, like, they, they'll still DM asking, like, where are their rewards? And the giveaway can't be rigged, right? I can't just give it to five other random people. In any case, thanks everybody for being here. Once again, shout out to all of you. Uh, see you tomorrow with another video, hopefully. Or a live stream. Probably a live stream, maybe a video. It's like, any more ones a human? Hopefully there will be more ones a human. Can't promise anything, but I think there should be more one human. Yes. Where are my rewards, says DA. Hopefully they'll arrive. And Ignis, thanks for becoming a member. The live stream is ending and Ignis became a member. Thanks, Ignis. Thanks for being here. Take care, everybody. And shout out to all of you. Thanks, Ignis. Thank you, guys. Thanks for chatting. And peace out. Peace out. Shout out to all of you. Uh, take care. Take care. See you guys next time. Tomorrow. So, yeah. Thanks once again, Ignis. And feel bad for ending the live stream just when you joined. But thanks for being here. And take care.